it's me, Steve, from Mr. G and All in One. Guess we're gonna go today? Mm, no, we're not going on vacation. I wish I can go on vacation. Actually, I'm going to work to New York for one week, and I'm gonna show you how what I pack when I go to New York for one week without checking luggage. As you may know, that anytime you check in luggage, you're taking a risk. The luggage can be missing or lost luggage, and the worst thing can happen to you is that you check in. And you got to New York and got to all get to the destination you want to be there, and your luggage is not there, and you have nothing to wear for work, and that's the worst experience. So typically, that will for one week to two week travel, I always do carry on. And the other thing is that when you do carry on, if you're running for the next earlier flight, you can just go on there really quickly, because if you check in the luggage, as you may know, you your luggage cannot go on an earlier flight because they're already being. Um, to the, the flight you original on. That's why that carry on is the way to go. So, first thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you this is my luggage. I always use Louis Vuitton for, uh, for travel, and this is perfect for the uh, carry on. And I know people say that really you travel with Louis Vuitton, but little tip for you here anytime you check into the hotel and if you show up with a Louis Vuitton bag, most likely they will give you upgrade room if you don't have a status with a hotel so it's kind of great to do that what i like about this luggage is very soft on the side you can feel that so meaning that you can actually put a lot of stuff in there if you have to and when you open it um, it's very deep so and what i like about here is that a lot of luggage you buy they have this two roller back here um the stuff right here i don't know what you call it here it stick out a lot so it actually takes away too much space but here is actually pretty flat it allows you to put more stuff in there so first thing first you want to put the biggest item in the base that will be your jeans or your workout pants like this so you put this right in the base so one pair two pair so whatever you're wearing also count to just remember that um, you must see that what is this basically what it is squeeze all the air out so it becomes flat. You can see it's much more flatter right now. The more you squeeze and more air that comes out, it takes less space. So you really, you want to start with this small one first. This is the underwear one. Um, I put my underwear, which I'm not going to show you. It's kind of personal. So you put underwear this way. Then you're going to put this on the top. So it looks somewhat like this. Let me show you. You see it? So you put this in the right in the middle. So what's going to happen is that this space right here and right here, we're going to put my shoes in there. So that creates a base. Then on the top, we can put my work clothes on top, which is just suit. Okay. Let's talk about shoes first. Um, shoes are so important for businessmen because no matter what business you're in, people judge you from your hair, your clothing, all the way down to your shoes or vice versa. So you don't want to go in there with nasty or wrinkly or dirty shoes. Um, I know this is all sparkling because for what I do, I go on stage a lot and I meet different clients. So I do need something out there. Um, I always put my socks inside the shoe. So this way the shoe does not get squished in the bottom and doesn't look that pretty. Okay, so you want to put socks in here. I always, always use a shoe mat, the shoe bag. When you buy a designer shoe, they usually come with this. If you don't have a designer shoe, you can just put a plastic bag over it. That's okay too. So, but that way, just really protecting your shoes. Okay, so you do that. So I already put. So you put this right here on both sides. Okay. What else can go in, inside the shoes? Your belt, and also your your jewelry, your watch. You can just shuffle in here, so you don't lose that. You, you, you never really want to travel with a lot of jewelry on your hand or fancy watch on your hand because you just want to be careful. I mean, you never know. So you put this in here. And since it's going to be carry-on, so you should be fine. So again, put it side by side like that. Okay, so one more time. Shoes, so you put it like this way so it becomes flat. Okay. 
So let me show you. So you can see now we create a nice space like this. So that allows you to put more stuff on both sides. Okay, so what else are you going to take with you when you travel? <laughs> if you guys recognize this, all your adapter. I know there's so many adapters for iPhone, iPad, mini iPad, um, different cell phone. And I always carry a big adapter like that because sometimes when you check into the hotel, you probably know there might be just one plug-in. And then you have like six different items need to charge. So to carry this with you, it's the best. Okay? And um, I found the one actually you can put the, um, I don't know what you call this, but you can put your iPhone in there and your iPad just charge. Plus this right here. So also in the bag, you can just put this on the side right there, like that. Every man needs to have a razor. So I use the electrical razor so that I carry that with me. So once again, you can see everything just kind of sit in the corner like that. Okay. Snack. There's a reason why you need to pack this with you. It doesn't matter you're going for one hour fly or six hours to Hawaii. Time to time, you're going to get stuck on an airplane for many different reasons. And when that happens, the airplane do not prepare additional food or snack for the passenger. Then guess what's going to happen? You'll be hungry. And sometimes you'll be on the airplane for three to four hours. I was just uh, on my way to San Francisco to Louis Vuitton uh, private party. And because the fog in SFO, my flight actually got delayed. And we got stuck on the airplane in LAX for three hours. You can get out of the plane and you just sit on the airplane. And there's no food. So luckily that I packed my little snack in there. So I'm okay. So anything that you want, just pack and then just put it in here. Oh, don't put this in your purse because you won't eat it all the time. Put it in your carry-on luggage for emergency purpose only, okay? So just put this on the side like that. Okay. After you do that, you're going to put the most important thing is your work clothes. Little tip for you. You don't need to buy a very fancy, um, what do you call it? The, I don't even know what's the name. The case, put your suit. This is just from dry clean. And this will protect the suitors and rubbing each other's, so your clothes will be wrinkle free. Okay. So what I did here is I'll show you. I want to have put my shorts in there. One, two, three, and my pants in there. You can put two, two more pants if you want, and a couple more shirts if you want. Okay. And just so you know that most of the hotel offer um, one overnight dry clean. So if there's anything happen to your clothes, you can get a dry clean. It will be done just next day which is not that big of a deal. Then you just fold this like that and squeeze the air out, okay? So you just place this on the top. You see that? Just push down. So that will be fine, okay? Uh, these are the, um, your skincare, which we're gonna talk about that later, okay? Once that goes in, you can just close this. See, I told you everything fit in here. Nicely. Okay. Voila. That's my one week close in there. Uh, let's talk about the other bed that you, because um, when you travel on an airplane, you're allowed to carry two beds uh, carry on luggage and a personal handbag. And guess what? This is my personal handbag. Um, it actually holds a lot of stuff in there. So what is in there? Let me show you what's in there. Um, I always have a little bag like that. So what's in there is your computer. Okay. Your iPad. Um, your emergency battery because you never know um, you need that battery. And I, when I travel for work, I change my wallet to a travel wallet like this. Oh, guess what? My phone fits in there too. I know. One word and one personal. I love about this wallet because that it holds all your credit cards, your boarding pass, your wallet. You can put your receipt in there. And it's very functional. You can put your phone in there as well too. See? And this is also from Louis Vuitton. So I, you can actually put all this in here. Oh, that's the earphone. Okay. And let's see what else is in there. Your sunglasses. I always bring a scarf with me because you never know 
um, you need an accessory or get really cold on the airplane, so you do need that. So you can put all this in here. I love this Louis Vuitton bag, it holds a lot of stuff. So um, let's talk about skincare. I don't know about you, but I'm a skincare junkie, and especially for what I do, I represent I represent for a skincare company. So have a nice skin is the must have. So what do you pack for one week when you travel? So let me show you right now. And by the way, this is a um, TSA approved, so you just carry on like this, okay? So first thing first, you need some type of BB cream, and so you look even skin tone. You need a hairspray, okay, travel side. I love this hydrating serum from SK2 because when you travel, your skin gets very dry. You gotta have this hand sanitizer because you don't know who touched that item before you. It's kind of scare me all the time. Um, I love, I love SK2 hydrating mask. I use this once every two days, so three pack can last, so it's enough for while we travel. Because at a hotel, your skin is so dry, and then you dry your skin. Little tip for you, when you go into the hotel, do not, try not to turn on air conditioning, because it dry out all, it makes your air very dry and dries your skin. This is, I love this, it's a mini, um, miniature toothpaste. SK2 Miracle Water. Then, eye cream, face moisturizer. This is the actual assembled um, cream, but then I put the hair product in there, so I can use my, my hair. Cleanser, you gotta have a nice cleanser. Your travel perfume or fragrance. And um, I always take a little La Mer, because just in case I get so dry and I need an emergency booster. So all this fitting in here, that's crazy, right? So how do you do this again? Put the biggest bottle first, or oh, actually this one first. And this is enough for one week, okay? Let me just show you. And you want to put the biggest cream first, so you can stack them together, okay? your toothpaste, and your mask. So where do you put your toothbrush? Your makeup bag, because they are dry, so it doesn't need to be in this bag. So that goes in there, okay? And this is your makeup bag, and what's in there, it's your um, foundation, toothbrush, uh, lip balm, airborne, you got a couple of airborne. And I love, I love to have, um, 3D whitening tea strip. So before you see your client, you have a brighter tea. That's very important, okay? One last thing I want to talk about is that I love to shop. And um, many times I do travel like this. It's perfect for work or where I go. But if I buy anything, and I can't, I can't take it back. Especially if you buy something very nice. So I always, I usually travel with, um, this is from Gucci. I love this. It's a little travel bag. You see, it folds up. And so it becomes a huge bag. And um, if I bought too much stuff, I can just check this and be flat like this. And if you want, I'll show you this. This can actually stick in here. So you don't even need this. Cool? All right, um, I think that's it for now. Um, Hopefully you enjoy my little video here and then you can take some tips from me and I'll see you next time.